He's got his frame. He's giving me fits, okay? My base is off track here. It's nice and wide, but it's very vulnerable. I can't have my knee all the way up here where he can dive under and give me a lot of trouble, especially if he can, he's smaller than me. He can get underneath me, get me up on his surfboard and give me a lot of problems I don't want to deal with. So I'm going to work down here, okay? This knee comes in, this one goes out. Conveniently, that makes it almost like a ball and chain down here. So I come down here like this, reach down quickly. If the sole is up, my palms are up. I pull the toe up first, and then I crush in for a quick submission. Usually that gets a reaction from the other leg where they start scrambling. Even if I don't, I come down quickly on it and wrap it. I want to get that Achilles into my bicep if I can, and then pull it up tight. Twist it down, it's very painful. If you actually manage to get the Achilles into the crook of the bicep there, you don't have to do much. He's tapping right there. It doesn't always work depending on the size of the foot, the your length of your arm, but that would be ideal. And I get here, I'm still heavy on my base, the toe goes down, and then I raise up and away for the toe hold. Okay, so those are the first two by themselves. Again, look at my base. If he lays flat, my knee is into his hip, and I'm sitting heavy on this leg. If I'm too far away from this foot, this isn't going to work. It's not going to do anything. He's going to sit up into me in transition and do what he's supposed to do. So I need to continuously attack, 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 but it's all off of control. My control allows me to maintain an offensive approach. Attack, 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 so he's running and defending. That's the objective here, okay? So now let's look at the rolling toe hold. If I'm in this position and this leg is nice and deep, and even if I put this leg down and I come down, it's still too far. I can't do anything with this. This isn't gonna hurt, but this I can still get. So I'll put the, the knee a little bit on that side right there, and I'm gonna go over my left shoulder, the shoulder closest to his upper body. I go over, I kick my leg here, and come back up, okay? And I twist it down, okay? What's also you can do here, come underneath, grab this way, pull your legs in, and twist tap, down tap. here as well. Okay, so again, we're gonna look at the rolling toe hold. So what happened was, I got in here, he's got his shield, he's got his frame, he's doing what he's supposed to do, okay? My knee is not where it's supposed to be, so I'm gonna bring that knee in and post it out. But what happens sometimes is his leg will be too far for me to do a toe hold here, so I don't have much to go on. I need to explode because he's gonna keep coming down into me. I need to make something happen. Every time I move, he's gonna move. So I wanna move twice if I can before he moves. When I come down here, I'm gonna quickly grab the toe, just like I framed it before. Pull the knee down. I don't wanna just go over this way. I'm gonna pull the knee a little bit past right here. Now, that gives me a nice angle. I pull that down there, there's pressure. I don't wanna do the submission yet though. When I go over the shoulder closest to his torso, I'm gonna kick with the leg that's wrapped. So my right leg is gonna kick. So that actually the higher it is, the better as far as the rolling toe hold goes. So I'm here, it's in the center. I go over the shoulder, I kick my leg, and I come up. Now, all I'm doing here is pulling the toe down. Notice my cutting bone is now into the ankle. I lift up and just pull down for a very effective toe hold. Now watch how I change my hands here. This one stays, this one comes over top, I reach under, I'm going to pull straight down and elbow out for the last one. And that's how we finish on it.